Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog! I'm going to the vet. I got up really late. Don't want to talk about it. I have so much fucking shit to do. I go to LA tomorrow morning. My flight's at 10 a.m. So I have to leave at what? 8? No. I need to be there like an hour and a half before because I don't know if my bag is overweight or not. Um, so math. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I have to be there at 8.30? At 7.30. No. Yeah. I have to leave at 7.30. Woohoo. So I'm going out tonight. So I need to make sure I'm fully packed and ready to go. Because I fear it's going to be a late one for Ruby. Anywho, I have to go to the vet. I'm taking Gunner for the first time. Here's Milo though. Hi, baby. Say hi to the vlog. Milo hates the vet, but you're not going to vet today. Gunner is. Look how gorgeous he is. Okay, you you stare outside. Gunner. Oh, that's perfect. You just walk right in. Let's go, my sweet little boy. All right, just got back from the vet. Gunner was such a good boy, like I was saying. Oh. I don't want him going near Milo because Milo is hissing at him because he smells like the vet. Milo hates the vet, so I need to go wash them. All right, I'm just gonna let them be. These glasses are so cute, but they don't actually do anything. So I kind of want to take them off, but I'm so bloated because I went out last night and I came home and made a huge bowl of pasta. Shouldn't have done that. I feel incredibly stuffed. So I'm trying to be less bloated because when I'm bloated, I like can't do anything basically. <laughs> so I'm drinking this Juice Generation Defender Lemon Ginger Turmeric Oil of Oregano Cayenne Pepper shot. But this thing is no joke. Like I can like do a health shot, like no problem. But this is gnarly. Like I took one sip and I'm like gagging. Like this is intense. This is the most intense health shot I've ever taken in my life. <sighs> like feel it. Anyway, I'm taking these off. Yesterday I threw around like everything I had already packed because I was like needed something to wear. So I'm gonna repack the stuff that I have thrown all over my floor. So I, I know I fix do my hair a lot. And then I'm gonna clean up my apartment and yeah. I got this really exciting package actually from Brooklinen, who is the sponsor of today's video, which I'm so excited about because I've been using Brooklinen forever. Wait, let me put my glasses on. They do have a store here. And I remember when I first moved here, that's where I went because my friend had sheets from them and I really liked them. They're just the type of sheets that you like wash and they just get softer every time somehow. I don't really know how that works, but they really do. I personally really love them. So I was really excited when they reached out to work together. So let me show you guys my new sheets. This feels like such a luxury because their sheets are so nice. Like I would ask for these for Christmas, you know what I mean? Um, So I got these like ivory with brown stripe patterned sheets. They feel so nice. They feel like silky almost. This is the Lux Tandem Stripe in Cacao. And then we have pillowcases and then the core sheet set. So I'm going to put these in the wash before I put them in my bed, obviously. Um, and just so they can get nice and soft and get rid of their creases and such. And then we'll put them on my bed together. While my laundry is going, this is where I'm at with packing. I'm really praying this isn't overweight, but it probably is. I just really need to pack my toiletries, my makeup, and my skincare. Um, I've set out my airport outfit. I think that's all I need to pack. Maybe a couple of other stragglers, but I'm hoping one toiletry bag will fit in there with my skincare. And my makeup will fit in here. I'm definitely overpacking, but whatever. This is my setup. I'm about to do my whatnot live. I think my wash just finished, so I'll make my bed after that. But yeah. I'm getting red because I'm nervous to do this live. I don't like doing live things. It's fine. 
Alright guys, I am going to make my bed. Let's talk about how making your bed is like one of the most annoying things to do ever. Let's start with the fitted sheet. I love how it all comes in a set and I'm really excited about this, like the brown stripe because I think it'll go well with the wood and like the red lamps. And there's this top sheet, and honestly, I don't usually use a sheet, but why not? Now for the tough part, getting my duvet cover into my duvet. There's definitely a trick for this that I should learn. So it's really exciting because it's Brooke Linen's 10 year anniversary in April, which is crazy. Okay, and then I just do the button fastened. I love the buttons. I way prefer buttons to a zip. Alright guys, this is the final result. I think they look so good. You can't really tell it's brown on the camera. It kind of looks black. It complements the bedside tables really well and I'm really happy about it. Gunner, how do you like it? I think that means he likes it. Because it's Brooklinen's 10th anniversary in April, whether or not you're a returning customer or you've never heard of Brooklinen before, this is a perfect opportunity to try them out. Treat yourself to some new bedding. I mean, this is where we literally get our beauty sleep, so we should have quality bedding. And I'm telling you guys, Brooklinen is the best. Best, best, best. Oh, Donna loves it. You're purring. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Thank you, Brooklinen, again for sending over this bedding and for sponsoring today's video. I'm so happy I get to talk about a brand that I genuinely love and share with you guys in case you haven't heard of them. I feel like bedding also seems like such an adult like purchase, like when you're living by yourself and like you're purchasing bedding and you don't even know where to start. Um, that was definitely me when I first moved to New York and the first place I bought bedding from because my friend had recommended it to me was Brooklyn and funny enough. So yeah, full circle moment. Anyway, it's almost six. I have so much to do still, so I don't think I'm gonna go to the concert. This would have been my 10th fucking Drake concert which is insane. I don't need to go again, but I love it so much. It's literally the best night of my life, but I might just go meet my friends after the concert and go out and then I'll have more time to pack and do everything I need to do because I was really stressed out because I have so much I need to do before I leave tomorrow morning and if I go out and I stay up all night then you know nothing is really happening even if I go out at all like I'm gonna want as much sleep as possible can someone tell me if it's normal for your cat to purr this loudly like listen to him Even like at the vet, he was purring. I feel like that's so strange. Like cats hate the vet. And then when we got back from the vet today, Milo, even like right now, like Milo smells the vet on him. And so he's been hissing. Hi, cutie pie. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wear this top out tonight. I feel like it's like chill, but also like shoulder. Hi guys. I don't know when the last time I spoke to you was. It is 10 p.m. Nobody wants to come out with me, but I wanna go out because it's my last day here and I want to say hi to some people but like none of my girl girl girlfriends want to come out with me which is like fair enough I'm still gonna go face my fear not like I'm not even fearful it's just like I hate going out with guys sometimes because they're all like my homies like those are my guy friends so as soon as like there's a girl they're interested in or something I'm just like by myself and I'm like what the fuck guys like you know you know how guys are like so that might happen. Because, like, when I have a girlfriend, I always have someone. No one's fucking ditching me. But it's okay. Worst case, come home early. Which is actually not worst case because I have a flight. I have to leave at 7.30 in the morning. Right? I'm worried my bag is overweight. And I'm going to have to wait in the line and, like, get it, pay for it. So, but I'm going to JFK, right? I think I am. So, it's not far. Anyway, I'm just wearing this top. It's from DKNY. I got it on thread up. My pants, you can't see them, but. They're Noah jeans, and I'm just wearing my kitten heels. I'm very cash. You know the drill. I just made some popcorn because I'm bored, 
and I'm going to do some last minute emails, even though it's Friday and I shouldn't be doing emails. But yeah, I might film some stuff tonight. Probably not. If I don't, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're flying to LA. Hey guys, hi Gunner, my camera's gonna die. So I may have missed my flight. You know, I got home at like five, ordered McDonald's, waited for my McDonald's, finished packing, and then I went to bed and I was like, okay, I'm gonna sleep for two hours, it's 5.30 at this point. I had to get up at 7.30 and leave. I don't know if my alarms just didn't go off or like I slept through them or like I turned them off, but I have no recollection of that. And I woke up and it was 9.30 and my flight was at 10. So yeah, I missed my flight. Fuck my life. It's my own fault though. Whatever, it's nothing to dwell about. I booked another flight, but there's obviously no fucking flights right now because everyone's going to LA. There was literally like one flight at 2.30. So I need to leave in like an hour and a half. I don't think I need to leave like that soon. Switching to this camera because my camera just died. Um, anywho, I lost my, I lost my flight. Oh my God. My head is currently pounding. I definitely like did way too much last night. It was like one of those situations where like, I was telling you I went with like my guy friends and I didn't go with any girlfriends and so they had a bunch of girls there Like I don't I don't know They were all nice, but like no one was on my vibe Like no one was like I don't know like I was having so much fun Like the music was so good like I was having there was like no one there to have fun with you know what I mean? Like I was like, oh my god What I would do for like one of my friends to be here right now because the guys are fucking lame and won't dance And I don't really want to dance with the guys anyway But I just wanted to like go on the dance floor and like sing every fucking lyrics to all the songs I knew anyway so I was just drinking to try and make it more fun for myself and honestly it worked I had so much fun <laughs> yeah let me make sure I don't miss this flight it's 10 30 right now my flight's at 2 30 should probably get there like realistically I only need an hour and a half but I'm worried I'm gonna have to wait in a long ass line for my suitcase so maybe I'll get there two hours <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have anything else to do. I'm just gonna sit here and read. This is the book I'm reading right now, by the way, guys. I know I've been talking about starting a book club. I think it's gonna be more of, like, a book space. You know what it is? I just haven't, like, had a photo to, like, start it with, but... Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying right now, guys. My brain is not working. Okay, wait, it's 10.30 right now. My flight's at 2.30. This is, like, the math equations above my head. Okay, so then I need to get there at two no that doesn't make any fucking sense i need to get there at 12 30. i need to get there at 12 30 which means realistically i don't have to leave until like 11. Gunner! 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 all right i'm just yapping for no reason now i'm gonna drink my coffee i have an hour i have like an hour and 20 minutes i guess i could do some work on my computer because i was thinking about it what am i gonna do on the flight i think i'm just gonna read the whole entire flight which i'm actually really excited about because before i was like oh this flight's gonna suck because i'm gonna be so fucking tired and hungover i'm just gonna sleep the whole flight but it's gonna be a rough sleep but now that i've slept i mean Mind you, I've only had like four hours of sleep, but I feel like so ready to read the whole flight. I'm so excited because I could, I don't really have anything to do on my laptop. I mean, there's always stuff I can do. This is what I'm wearing. I need like a longer shirt because I don't like my midriff out like this. This sweater is from Heavy Manners. I really like it. These pants are Stussy. And then I'm wearing my Nike shocks. I think I'm going to wear my leather jacket because I kind of want to bring it. And this is question marks, question marks. I need to close this. This is Olivia's meme music skirt. Made it to LA. Oh my god! We love a Jeep. So exciting. Oh my god, this is bringing me back. To where? I grew up with a Jeep. Oh. <laughs> well, I love it. We're like in a monster truck. Look at this. Yeah. It's just. Hey, let's get used to my fans looking at you. What they heard, huh? Okay. 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 I'm 
what this cost us? 100 quid? 130 bucks or something? Mm -hmm. Crazy. This is everything we got. I don't have words, guys. I'm really tired and I really haven't eaten. So I'm just gonna eat and we'll redo this tomorrow. I think I'm actually just not gonna vlog tonight. I'm very tired, but maybe you guys will get lucky. Okay, tell me the tea. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Oh, Ruby. My bad. <laughs> I didn't hear so much. No, it's nice. I, I got a new party time. I got a Put that on your head. <laughs> That's a crazy description. I would die. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I would actually die. Exactly how you <laughs> Hi guys, I haven't vlogged probably since properly since the day I got here. I was doing some little TikTok vlogs, but even those are struggling. Olivia fell ill. I don't know. I just haven't been vlogging. I'm so sorry. You haven't really missed much. Yeah, you haven't really missed much. Olivia's a w uh, well, and um, well, yeah. yesterday would have been a fun day to vlog because we did we did we did, we, did, we, we popped around. What did we do? We woke up. We went to Aloe, and then we went to community goods and then we went to our friend's roof and tanned I don't know if you can tell but we're a little sun kissed and we're gonna tan again today um, the Sun like basically healed us I think and yeah. then we were in such a good mood I had a little manic episode it was a little terrifying but it's Where is Alfred's, by the way? Oh, we have to loop around well, where is it? it's off that street or let's just go to dialogue then Okay, it's all the way up. Anyway, we're on our way to a hike. We're going to Coachella tomorrow. So maybe I vlog a lot today because I don't want to like make this into a super long ass vlog. We actually have no idea how we're getting there yet. So we need to figure that out today. And we're very excited. It's my first time ever going to Coachella. And today we're going to go, we're going on a hike. We're going to Runyon Canyon. It's a pretty chill hike. I feel like I've done it before and I remember it being pretty chill. And then after that, we're gonna try and meet up with Luca except for he went out last night so we don't know if he's even alive and then we're gonna go tan at a friend's roof again i'll show you guys olivia's secret or oh, unless she wants to get keep it she's a secret tanning stuff that i think works really well amazing well and yeah that's the tea slade the parallel parking period every day i raise the bar higher and higher with the parallel parking i'm mother Guys, this is our Jeep, Jennifer. Jennifer the Jeep. Look how sexy she is. Thank you. <laughs> Inner monologue with Olivia Neal and Ruby Lynn. Got my coffee. I've been drinking Dialogue coffee for the last two days. Olivia got a hot coffee because she's Crazy. And we're going to go do our hike. <laughs> it literally could be you. <laughs> it might be you. It might be this you. This might just be Lucas of that. Isn't this the cutest little camera? Look. Can I get um, some salt and pepper too? Can I please get some honey? Honey, sure. Thank you. Hi guys, so we went and got a coffee and now we're going to our friend's room to tan. 
<laughs> We've also, this place has made us discover matcha americanos and it's quite good if you've already had, had a coffee because or if you don't really drink coffee there's no coffee in this right no it's just there is coffee there's no milk i don't drink matcha because of the milk are we gonna get a reformation vintage no or later no later right okay, yeah that's no, just yeah let's get there we also went to reformation i forgot i bought two dresses hi guys Olivia's burnt, we tanned, and we went to Air One, and um, I forgot to show you guys, sorry. But we have dinner tonight, we're gonna pack all our shit up before we go to Coachella tomorrow. You know what? Do we look tan? So look I just touched red. your boob. Um, you can't really see me, but guys, I have no brain. What is that? <laughs>